Uh, I chose the Edinburgh Business School because I had two friends back in Canada, two family back in Canada, who took the program in 2001 and 2004, and the program fit my lifestyle. I have three small, I one small kid, two big kids, a uh, full-time job, and it just really suited what I could do in terms of uh, uh, in terms of timing and courses and that. And it was a fantastic program. I think it gave me an absolute grounding in every key course uh, needed for my career, whether it's motivating staff, whether it's deciding if this is a good business move or not. Uh, it really just gives you a grounding in all the courses that you need to, to succeed. I chose to study at the Edinburgh Business School because I was really looking for a university with high reputation, with high academic standards, but also being able to offer the flexibility that you need when studying and also having the full-time demanding job. And I found that the Edinburgh Business School is offering the right mix in this perspective. And I found the tutors and also my fellow students as really, really being so instrumental in the progress that I was making in my studies. I chose the MBS, this MBA, because I'm very busy. I have a family and a job. And the flexibility of this program is something that attracts me. Uh, I don't have the time to go presentially to receive a program like this. So when I also discovered the reputation of this university, that encouraged me and I decided that this would be the right place to make this program. It helped me in, in two things. The first is that it is a challenge to make this program in distance, but it is possible. So if I could achieve this program, that tells me that I can also overcome the challenges that I will have in the future. And besides, this program involves me in the modern business world. I decided to do um, my MBA to broaden my horizon. My background is actually environmental science. And I just was looking for a program that develops my management and supervisory skills. And in doing some assessments of the different programs that are available in Trinidad, I decided on the Heron Watt University program. Uh, it's pretty much always the same answer uh, because it's very flexible. It's very flexible and I studied in South Carolina in the United States on the East Coast and in the meantime I relocated. So the flexibility of the program where when you do it uh, distance learning, you can do it everywhere in the world. So now I'm living in California and it was very easy. Nothing to change, just a different uh, examination center. I did about one, two, three, four examination centre within four years. I chose to study at Edinburgh Business School, Edith Watt University, because it's a very reputable university. Uh, it's, it's accredited all over the world, and actually it has my speciality, or the speciality I've been looking for, which is the human resource management speciality. I've been looking for this speciality for about, for about five years or something, and this is the first university and the first school that provided me with the exact speciality I'd love to have. I think uh, the MBA already started uh, to show benefits to my career whilst already, you know, reading for it. Uh, so I think you can really apply everything that you learn uh, immediately in your in your work, and uh, I'm really I'm really happy to see that you know I already managed to to advance in my career and to make new steps. I feel much more at ease and confident in in the decisions I make in the way that I approach problems and challenges. In fact, I actually enjoy the project management, strategic management courses in addition to the organizational behavior courses because. As I, as I previously mentioned, my background is in science and it helped me to get a, a, a holistic uh, view of what management and what supervising meant in terms of pure person's relations and as well with project management on the whole. I think the MBA is invaluable and I have seen the results actually in my working experience professionally. Again, it has helped me not look, just look at a technical point of view, but also to give me a, a more of a management and a business point of view. So it provides me with a holistic development in terms of my profession. Uh, the reason why I have chosen uh, EBS MBA, uh, because it's highly flexible and a lot of uh, online facilities are available uh, compared to other courses uh, in the market. So I can do a lot of homework 
and you know I can easily get through the exam because of the facilities available online. You know, yeah, my ambition would be to set up a company. You know, uh, time to come. So I have been working very hard towards that. So with this MBA, I strongly believe that uh, I have got the required knowledge and the skill. And uh, another couple of years time, I am going to set up a business with this MBA knowledge. You know. I chose the Edinburgh Business School because I had looked at a few um, universities to do the MBA program and this one offered me the most flexibility in terms of the, the method of study um, to coincide with, with where I was in life. It's, it, it's to get to the next level, I think, you know, it's, it's not essential but it, it's certainly beneficial when you go up against another candidate, if you can show that you have the, over, the, the general um, business knowledge that an MBA will bring. It can, it can, it can cement that, that uh, move to the next level. Favorite module of the program was actually organizational behavior. Uh, I'm fond of um, human psyche and adjustment of human behavior and that, that course actually gave me uh, a deep insight about what's, what, what, who are the human beings and what's, what's the behavior inside an organization and the theories for motivation and how can you adjust the behavior and how can you discipline people and employees inside the, the organization and, and the work group and the homogeneous and the heterogeneous work groups inside, uh, inside organizations because I'm an organization development manager back in Cairo so this is exactly my field of, of, of expertise. Profit Professor D is great to help the new starters. So I was, and it's human resource, so to speak, uh, helping you uh, <laughs> to understand the human aspect of the uh, companies. And uh, another one I like, economy. You use economy in for all the core courses, in marketing or in negotiation as well, because. The basic of business is economy anyway. I was very proud yesterday being in downtown Edinburgh and do a picture of the statue of Adam Smith. Yes, yeah, the basic of business. This is the reason I did a master of business administration because I want to go in consulting and I'm, uh, I'm in the industrial sales. And if you want to go doing a career shift, Unless you got lucky or you knock on doors very hard, but bringing a degree, showing your achievements, and you got some things to prove, that's it. It's not all of it, but it really contributes a lot. And the Royal Charter the quality of uh, Edinburgh Business School is really a, a testimonial. I started Edinburgh Business School because when I searched for an MBA, uh, the first thing I chose for is a complete and a comprehensive MBA that will assist me in future work and all. So um, when I studied and researched about an MBA, I thought uh, Edinburgh uh, MBA was the best one. So that's why I chose it. First of all, prior to, to starting this master's degree, um, I went through a number of uh, universities and uh, they couldn't offer me uh, a program that would suit my working environment and so when I uh, came across Edinburgh Business School I ran through the the programs that they offer and it was so perfect and suited so well with my program being a, a career woman working looking after kids and running a home so really EBS offered the best option for me. Um, when I wanted to choose a degree, a master's degree to study, um, one of the main uh, factors that I had to think about was that it recognizes my professional experience and the professional qualifications that I had. I was a chartered accountant, a chartered certified accountant. I needed a degree that I can build on it, not instead of going and study finance and accounting uh, courses that I mastered already and Edinburgh Business School accepted my qualifications and I could build upon them and uh, the second uh, factor was that it's internationally uh, recognized because I wasn't sure when I finished the course would I be in London or would I go around the world to some other countries and um, Harriet Fudd degree was recognized around the world and the third uh, factor was that it's flexible I might have had to leave my uh, place that I was working at the time, go to a different country. I wanted to have the option to continue studying with the Edinburgh Business School 
or have the option to come to the campus to study full time or part time and it had all that those characteristics that I was looking for. Actually it already helped me because once I've got my degree I'm promoted at work already I'm getting a promotion inshallah when I get back to work and um, maybe I'll have uh, some assignments abroad because of this uh, of this uh, degree that I'm having now. I'm looked upon highly now because you have you know it's just that you know that you have the knowledge you have the skills and you have a degree, you ha you're now acknowledged for, for knowing something that can help humanity, that can help employees, that can improve work, work life inside your workplace. So it will just boost my career to unimaginable limits. Unimaginable limits. Um, I chose the EBS MBA for a number of reasons. One, it's globally recognized. Two, it offers you a variety of courses in terms of specialization. Third, its standards exceptionally high. And I want to ensure that the MBA I do, it gives me the right standard and the right exposure and the knowledge that I could use internationally. And the course itself uh, taught me a lot of good skills, good knowledge, uh, the case studies were brilliant, and I've also used some of that in my daily work. So it gives me many, many informations and data that helps me in doing my PhD. I find it's very easy to continue my PhD based on the extreme information and courses that I've got through uh, MBA. I enjoyed most of the strategy papers, uh, strategic planning, uh, making strategies work, uh, leadership, I can say. <laughs> All the strategy papers became my favorite. In fact, that's why I've decided to have my second major in strategic planning. Well, so far, uh, the MBA has been, it has opened a lot of doors for me. Um, when I completed the, the general MBA, uh, like I said, I was nominated by the World Bank to represent uh, young 10 professionals at the conference on strengthening responsible business and governance in Africa. Of course, they were looking at what sort of qualification does this individual have and which organization is she coming from. And so when they saw my master's, you know, you know on my profile and also working for uh, an important firm like Deloitte, they were really uh, uh, impressed. Uh, my husband uh, runs a fish farm project and I helped him with the knowledge that I've gathered from my MBA program to uh, do a business plan, um, which actually we're supposed to get funding for to expand uh, our business. So really, I've put it to good use. The tools uh, and the knowledge that I've gained from the studies has really helped me a lot. One thing is that it's a master's degree. MBA is globally recognized as the most prestigious business degree that one can earn. But more than that, are the stuff that I learned while I was reading it. Uh, I think whether it was negotiation techniques, whether it was, was um, organization behavior, what we read, it could help us. When I work, I could use that techniques to help me with day-to-day -day work, organize my relationship with my colleagues, with the customers, with the clients. It actually practically helps me to uh, improve in my work. Um, and I'm very happy with it. It's already opened doors for me. Um, I'm lecturing part-time on a local MBA. I think it's allowed me to open up our networks as well in terms of some of the business advisory I've got. And I'm an electronics engineer, I'm a chartered accountant as well. And I think the EBS MBA is just another level up in terms of allowing me to uh, sort of consolidate all my knowledge and it will open up other doors. I've been approached by two companies to sit on their boards as non-executive director, as an independent non-exec director, as well as other opportunities. I'm hoping from a job perspective, other opportunities will open up as well. Getting lots of phone calls from a lot of headhunters in the past month about saying, you've got this MBA, would you look at other opportunities? So I'm seeing doors opening already.